Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a summer 10 for 10 capsule wardrobe. I thought that this would be really fun as I know a lot of you are from the Northern Hemisphere, so I thought this would give you a few outfit ideas. So keep watching to see the 10 looks and everything featured will be linked in the description box down below. For outfit number one, I'm wearing this super sweet little gingham dress. This is from a brand called Tusa The Label and I actually picked it up on sale and I'm dying to wear it for the summer. I decided to pair the dress with my gingham shoes from Mansur Gabrielle. I'm still breaking these in, but what I love is that they also have a gingham check on them but it is slightly bigger. So there's a bit of pattern on pattern action going on here. For the bag, I've opted for this little arc bag from Cult Gaia. This is just such a cult class classic bag and I think it's a really fun one to have on hand for the summer months. This dress is so fun and flirty. I kind of wanted to let it speak for itself in this first outfit. However, I do have one other accessory on, which is a pretty bold choice. It is these gorgeous wavy earrings from Anthropology. They are one of my favorite earrings in my wardrobe at the moment, and I've been wearing them every single opportunity that I can get. For my second outfit, I've opted to do a little bit of color blocking. So I've paired this really beautiful rose ballerine pink cami, which is from Everlane, with some khaki paper bag waist shorts from Topshop. Now, what I love about these shorts is that they nip in at the waist and then they're quite loose through the leg. So I feel like they're incredibly flattering because visually they nip you in at the waist and then because they are quite loose around the leg, they make your legs look leaner and longer. The cami is made in Everlane's Go Weave fabric, so it is a little bit weightier than my usual silk camis that I reach for but I do love the fact that it is a bit sturdier and it isn't going to crease very much because it's wrinkle resistant which makes it the perfect travel companion if you're going on a summer vacation. On my feet I'm wearing a very old pair of sandals these are from Sportscraft I'll see if I can find something similar and link them down below but I love the little injection of snake skin in there it's faux by the way <laughs> and then my bag again I've gone for the cult guy arc bag I just think that it's a little bit fun and it gives me those summer holiday vibes. Outfit number three encapsulates my favorite color palette at the moment, which is different hues of sort of stone, beige, and brown, which I never thought would be my favorite color palette of the moment, but here we are. I'm wearing a striped top from Vince and I have to say I'm really impressed with the quality of their t-shirts. It washes really well and it also is a really nice soft cotton. I've paired it with a paper bag waist skirt, which is sort of a wrap style from H&M and this I love it's so easy to throw on and I like the little tie detail on the side I just think it's a really neat little effect my blazer is from an Australian brand called Yoli and Otis it's a really beautiful linen blazer and you can kind of see that I've kept to the theme with that color palette with my accessories as well so my shoes are the editor heels from Everlane which I highly recommend I just think that they're such a chic option for the office as well and then for my bag I've opted for my Philip Lim mini Cashley, which is definitely one that I wear a lot more during the warm months. This next outfit is a super casual one, which you can see I've definitely dressed up with the accessories going for those bold wavy earrings again. I've paired a Whistles t-shirt. This one says De Rien on it. It's really nice, lightweight feel, perfect for summer. And I've gone for a brodery skirt. This is one that I've had for quite a few years now. So I will try and find something very similar for you guys. Drop it in the description box below, but it is from one of my favorite Aussie brands, Lover. It's just a really nice length. I did have to have it taken in at the waist just a little bit so it fit me perfectly, which is definitely one of my biggest tips when you're investing in your wardrobe. For shoes, I've gone for my Everlane Editor Sling Back Flats. Do keep in mind if you get these that the strap at the back will stretch out a little bit. And then my tote is my Linear Tote Bag. This is a soft tote. And I have done a full review on this bag, which I will link in the cards up in the right-hand corner if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so we're starting to see a little bit of the replication of the items now. So for this next outfit, I have paired the Vince striped tee with those Topshop paper bag waist shorts. Now I really love this color combination. It is super earthy, very natural, which is definitely something that I think is very on trend at the moment, but also I just think it looks really great and it's lovely to break out of wearing all black, which has been a bit of a fallback of mine for many years. I have gone for black accessories with this outfit, so I am wearing 
wearing a round circle bag. This is from an Aussie label called Celery the Label. However, I will find some alternatives readily available in the US for you guys. My meals are from Chloe. I managed to pick these up pre-love from The Real Real and I just love the gold heel detail. I will link the haul that I featured them in in the cards if you want a close up look. Now I've gone for this jacket and skirt combo again, but I've mixed up my accessories and the top, which I think really helps to change the look and make it feel really fresh. The accessories are pretty neutral colored again, but let's talk about the top. So I am wearing that Everlane bow weave cami, which I think looks really pretty paired with the stone colored blazer and also the little skirt. I have rolled the sleeves up a bit. As you can see, they are super long on this jacket, which I really like. It's a nice little design detail. My bag is from Everlane. This is the day market tote. As you can see, it's pretty big size, but I love it. It's a bit of a hold all. I'm five foot eight for reference. If you wanted to know how tall I was. Then finally, the shoes are from MNZ and they are the Sophie sandals. I highly recommend these. They are super comfortable, a little bit of an investment, but well worth it. They've got a nice block heel. I will link some dupes in the description box below though, if you want something a little bit more affordable. Without throwing a blazer on top, I wanted to show you guys another way of wearing that little gingham dress that I featured at the start of this video. So what I've done is I've worn it over the white t-shirt from Whistles, which I really love the effect. I think this is really youthful and playful. It's really fun and it definitely gives the dress a bit more of a flirty and sort of effortless vibe. For accessories, I have worn this Zodiac style bag. I picked this up from Amazon and I can't find the retailer, so I will try and find some similar options for you guys below. It's a bit of a dupe for the Prada Kahia bag. And then my mules are from Chloe, just a good classic staple. This next outfit was inspired by a look that I wore when Luke and I were in Rome two years ago now. I can't believe it's been that long. Uh, I will link it on the screen and also the vlog from that trip in case you guys want to go and check it out. But essentially I wore a little shirt. The one I was wearing was from Madewell. This one's actually from Everlane. And then I wore the skirt and a nice little pair of sandals, a black tote, and I believe I had a neck tie as well. You can see that that neck tie, I've kind of used it two different ways in this outfit. I've worn it around my neck and I've also used it as an accessory for the bag which I think is a really nice way to sort of change up your look and and complete the overall outfit but I just love the fresh way that this feels it reminds me of Audrey Hepburn from Roman holiday. So I decided to smarten up those Topshop shorts a little bit and I've paired them with that Evelyn popover shirt and I've also gone for the blazer and a pair of heels this time around. And I really like the way that the blazer pairs with the shorts. I think it definitely elevates it a notch and it makes it look a little bit less casual, a little bit less like you're maybe going to the beach, which is probably one of the main ways that I would wear those shorts. Uh, the shoes are from Lo Flo Randall. I picked them up during the sale, but I'm pretty sure this is a standard style of these. They're super comfortable and I love the color. I think it goes really well with the khaki green. The bag is again the day market tote from Everlane, which I have done a review on and I will link it up in the cards as well if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, I just love the overall feel of this look. It feels very kind of put together, but also fresh at the same time because of that mixture of the lighter color palette. Then for my final outfit, this is the last piece in the 10 items, this one shoulder ruffle top from Faithful. I got this last year when Luke and I were going to the Maldives and honestly, it has been such a wonderful addition to my wardrobe. I've paired it with the white midi skirt from Lover and then the bag is again that Colt Guy Arc bag. My shoes are the Menzo Gabrielle gingham pumps. I just think this is a really cute look and I've, I've really amped up the accessories with those wavy earrings again. So so this is sort of the kind of thing that I would wear for an evening out maybe, something really relaxed like a summer soiree. So there you have it, 10 items, 10 different looks. I feel like I only scratched the surface with this one. Next week I'll be sharing my winter 10 for 10 wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon, bye.